AOC was seen fighting mass as here in Florida. She's been critical of your policy, but then she comes to Florida and enjoys you know, the free state. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I mean, look, I, I think if, if you, if I had a dollar for every lockdown politician who decided to escape to Florida over the last two years, I'd be a pretty doggone wealthy man, let me tell you. I mean, Congress people, mayors, governors, I mean, you name it. And um, it's interesting, though, the reception that, you know, that, that some of these folks will get in Florida, because I think a lot of Floridians say, wait a minute, you're bashing us because we're not doing your draconian policies, and yet we're the first place you want to flee to, uh, to basically to be able to, to, to enjoy life. And so I'm not surprised to see that continue to happen. Um, I could tell you, I mean, um, you know, there are probably about a half dozen governors who had restrictions on their people and then were spotted at various points in Florida. Some of it's been public, some of it's not been public, but you know, people tell me these things and so uh, these things are spotted. And so that's just the reality that we're dealing with. I think I'm happy though that Florida is a place where people know they can come and they can live like normal people. They can make their own decisions. You know, Fauci, again, he's railing against the restaurants. I mean, these poor people have had, I mean, they've done very well in Florida because we, we protected them. But I mean, this is not an industry that's easy to do very well in. And he's singling them out as if that is somehow such a huge factor when there's all these other things um, that you could be pointing to. You know, I just, think, I just think it's wrong. But people know they can come, they can go get a beer, they're not gonna have to show papers, they're not gonna have to do anything. And look, just look at what we're seeing now. How big of a failure have vaccine passports been? Okay, if vaccine passports succeeded, you would not see a lot of the stuff uh, that you're seeing in a lot of states that implemented them. And so all it served to do was discriminate against people based on an individual choice, create a two-tiered society. And yes, they are moving, like I said a couple months ago, they are moving to update that to say in some parts they're going to say you need a third shot to be able to do. So, um, so those policies uh, have not worked and I think ultimately, look, people vote with their feet. I always say I'm so happy with our Floridians. Um, I'm not asking for people to, to, come, to come move because we've got great people. We've got a lot of great stuff going on. I think we're going to do a lot more great stuff. But the fact of the matter is, you know, if you look from July of 2020 to July of 2021, we led the country in where people were wanting to come to. And I think that that's a result of, of protecting people's freedoms and making sure that we had a, had a state worth living in. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking that middle button. Also, check out our previous video by clicking the video on the right or a video you might enjoy by clicking the video on the left. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share this video on social media. Peace.